Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be looking at the most popular products from Best Buy. So we put together a gaming setup using the top rated products from Best Buy and our friends over at Deep Cool were nice enough to sponsor this video because they want us to show off their awesome new case, the CH510 Mesh Digital, which features that digital LCD up front that reads out the temperature of either your CPU or GPU. And it also has mesh, so you can get some really awesome airflow. Big shout out to Deep Cool. They're a great company for PC cases, cooling, and especially fans. I got some cool RGB fans as well. So definitely check the link down below. But today we're gonna to be using this PC to test these peripherals that we bought from Best Buy. These are some of the best selling products that you can buy right now on Best Buy's website or locally at your local Best Buy. And uh, some of them are kind of strange. It's kind of weird how they're selling so much, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about each part in the setup after we talk about this PC because there's some awesome specs here that are gonna make this setup look really good. So this gaming PC turned out really awesome. We actually just built it right before recording this video. But once again, big thanks to Deep Cool because we got a lot of Deep Cool products. So underneath this Deep Cool LS72360 mil AIO, we have the Ryzen 5 7600 six core 12 thread. We also have a XFX Merc 319 RX 6750 XT. That's a mouthful. This is an awesome card. It's really cool to see them kind of revamping the normal 6700s. And yeah, they pack a lot of power. I'm just saying everybody wants those Nvidia cards, but these AMD ones have a lot of bang for buck right now. We also have an ASRock B650E PG Riptide, a crucial P3 plus one terabyte gen 4 NVMe SSD. You gotta take advantage of those gen 4 speeds. Corsair Vengeance 32 gigs, 5200 megahertz DDR5, and that is RGB. It's pretty good stuff, dual channel. We have a Thermal Take Tough Power GX2. That is a 600 watt 80 plus gold unit that is modular. And as Matt said, we have this CH510, which has that really cool little LCD display up front that is very simplistic. Just hooks up with USB 2, so really any board you could use. You could even use a board from 10 years ago if you wanted to. And then you can actually get your CPU or GPU temps. You just right click in the desktop top pick which one you want and then we also have some fc 120 fans which basically match the fans that are on our radiator and then we used asia horse black sleeve cables but yeah overall this build ends up being around 1500 bucks and yeah you're gonna be able to really kill some consoles out there because this thing's gonna get way over 100 fps and pretty much everything we throw at it so let's go ahead and talk about what we bought from best buy First up with the monitor, this monitor is the MSI Optics G27C5, which is a 1080p 165Hz curved monitor from MSI. This thing has 950 reviews with a 4.7 average star rating, and it comes in about $206, which with the price drop of high refresh rate monitors is a little bit pricey in my opinion, but it's from a brand like MSI. It's gonna have that gamer look. The stand is pretty solid. It's not very adjustable, but it is better than some of the other cheaper stands on other cheaper high refresh rate monitors out there. And it's curved. A curved monitor is a feature for some people. Me personally, I like flat panel monitors, but curved monitors are pretty cool because you get more immersed in the gameplay if that's something you're into. So excited to see how this looks when we're pairing it with our gaming PC, but I think it's going to work out really well and it showed up in one piece. So that's all you can really ask for with a monitor. Now for the keyboard. This one is a strange one. This is the Razer Ornata Chroma Wired Gaming Keyboard and it's Mecha Mechanical. So it's it's kind of a weird play on. It's, it's a membrane keyboard, okay? I'm not even going to try to spin any other way but they added some sort of clicky functionality to it to make it sound like a blue switch. This thing has 1,308 reviews. It's a 4.7 star review average and it costs $26. So that's probably why people are buying it. It's, it. it's a Razer product, a keyboard that is $26. It has backlighting, so that's pretty cool. It does have this wrist rest, which is magnetic. It's actually much stronger than some of their higher end ones. Some of their <laughs> higher end ones, they don't work very well. So, I mean, overall, it's just a keyboard. It's cool. I can see this being kind of annoying though. It's weird. It's just like a quiet and higher pitch blue switch. Yeah, so I mean, it's better than the other mechanical keyboards I've tested for sure. So I think under $30, it's not that bad, but there are really cheap mechanical keyboards you can get outside of Best Buy. But in terms of what Best Buy has to offer, if you're you know going with your parents to Best Buy and they will only let you buy from Best Buy, this might be your only option. Now this right here is a legendary mouse. This is the Logitech G502. And I'm really not surprised that this one is on the list. It had 5,649 reviews, a 4.7 star average and it was $50. Now it is a wired mouse, so you are gonna have to deal with that, but it is a pretty legendary design. Um, I used this mouse years ago as my primary mouse and I was very happy with it before the whole lightweight craze happened and I really just love lightweight mice now. But this is still a very solid mouse with a bunch of programmable buttons. You have that really cool like infinite scroll wheel where it just goes on forever. Wee, look, and then you can just stop it. Oh, look at that, just stopped you right there. A little DPI button, we have more programmable buttons here. We have like a little sniper button. Does anyone actually use this? 
Have it you basically ever used just, it? It slows the DPI down to like the slowest speed only temporarily. Have like you done that before? No. No. <laughs> I, was, I, I don't think anybody actually adjusts their DPI on the fly with that button. Yes. I don't think. One thing I did have to do, which I normally don't like to do with these setups, is I had to install the software for this because the base like DPI setting was ridiculous. It was at like 1200 DPI for like the base setting, so you couldn't get it any lower than that. So I had to install the software, but Logitech software is not too bad. Now everything is sitting on top of this mouse pad from SteelSeries, which this one actually didn't have a ton of reviews. It had 819 reviews, a 4.8 star average, and it was 20 bucks. I think for 20 bucks, it's pretty good. I mean, it's nice and thick. There are some mouse pads that are, well, very thin and normally don't give you that sort of like cushiony feeling, almost like a little wrist rest while you're gaming. It does feel pretty nice. And it's from SteelSeries, a company that we know and love, and they actually make peripherals as well. We actually bought a bundle from Best Buy with a mouse pad and stuff. It was a pretty decent value. That was the weird one where they gave you like a wireless mouse, but then a non-mechanical keyboard. So SteelSeries does some weird things, but this is a pretty good option. And last but certainly not least, a product that kind of disappoints me, I'll be honest with you. This right here is the HyperX Cloud Stinger. I feel like we've had the Cloud Stinger in our office for about <laughs> three to four years now based on the old office. Like we've had these headsets sitting around and the, the microphone doesn't sound great. I will try to remember, and McAllister can do something crazy if I don't remember, um, where we, you know, actually test the microphone and see what it sounds like, but it's a budget headset. And the reason people are buying it is because it's so cheap because actually, you know what, it's not even that cheap. 4,357 reviews, 4.5 stars, and it's $30. Yeah. And it's been $30 for like years. It's been $30 for years. So like, I'd understand if this thing was like $20 or $15 or something, but yeah, there's like way better headsets for the same price or less. So I don't really know why this thing still exists. People keep buying it. So, you know, it is what it is. So what we're gonna do is take everything here, all the setup stuff, and we're gonna play a couple of games. We have Overwatch and we have Call of Duty Warzone, and we'll just give you all our opinion on the fly, uh, how the peripherals are, if they're worth picking up, if there's something you should consider buying from Best Buy, or if some of these uh, should not be bought anymore from people at Best Buy. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're playing some Overwatch 2. We got 300 FPS cap on, and uh, you guys are gonna be pretty surprised because on ultra settings, 1080p, we can almost go higher. <laughs> we're actually just kind of like capping at it, but you can see we're having a couple dips. So 300 is a pretty safe number. You actually, sometimes you can go too high, you know? For certain applications like OBS start to get a little mad. They're like, whoa, what is all this FPS? Too much FPS. So far, first impressions on the monitor. It looks pretty solid, a little dim. It is in an environment right now with the game he's playing. It's pretty dark, so not the best representation, but it looks pretty good for a curved display. Nice and smooth. Die again. <laughs> Yeah, it's, this is definitely a lot smoother. Like we, we test so many budget systems. I'm just used to stuff running like Garbo. So how's that keyboard feel? Oh my God, someone's capping. Dude, they're back capping right now. Does it, does it feel very membrane the more you use it? I mean, like it has like a weird, like it has that, that membrane like mushy. It's one of those things where like, once I heard so how cheap it was, I was, I kind of understood more, but at first I'm like, why not just go like mechanical? Yeah. Cause like it, it literally feels and sounds pretty mechanical. Die, die, die. Oh my God, he's getting healed. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, I hate that ult so much. That's good. Nice. Get out of here. I did notice, by the way, guys, and I'll fix it for the next game, that the CPU temperature is in the top right under the GPU category at ADC. <laughs> and yeah, the usage is, uh, well, not there. So um, A2C <laughs> for the CPU, which is normal for a 7600. I mean, it's boosting real high right now with that 360 mil. And then we also have, well, 67C for the GPU. Ooh. Oh, oh man. Where the heck did he just come from? Oh god, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Ooh. Oh, guess what, junk rat? Bop. No. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, that was might not been a good idea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me, Reinhardt. Hey, Yay. that was easy. Yeah. Easy win. All right, well, Overwatch 300, well, we could have even gotten 400 FPS. I don't even know, but let's go to the next game. All right, fellow gamers, we are now in Call of Duty Warzone, and we are on a balance preset right here, but I got to turn one important setting off. Motion blur, goodbye. Uh, balance preset, which is a mixture of medium, high, low. It's like kind of all over the place, but you can replicate that at home. And uh, yeah, we're getting 130, 120 FPS right now. Pretty good in a game like Warzone. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in, hopefully end up getting a couple kills and uh, give McAllister some gameplay so he's happy. You don't want Madden McAllister. Madden McAllister is 
He gets scary. It's very scary. It's a force to be reckoned with. Which way does his hat turn when he's mad, McAllister? McAllister, can you show them right now? Give him a picture. <laughs> show, show him what it looks like when it turns. A small tutorial, perhaps. A small tutorial on how to turn your cap. <laughs> oh! Jesus! And we got a kill under our belt. Yeah, yeah. I got two of the same gun. We're off to a great start. Oh, what the hell? Wilson! <laughs> Wilson! Yeah. Sorry, Wilson. I wasn't gonna let you do that to me. But yeah, I'd say I kind of the same opinion about this keyboard. It's it's better than I thought it would be, but if you like are really used to a mechanical keyboard, you can definitely tell the difference. Um, I mean, that's kind of obvious, but if this is like your first gaming keyboard and you want to buy it from Best Buy, 25 bucks is not a bad buy for this thing. And you get the pretty lights. I know a lot of you really want the pretty lights and I can't fault you for it. UAV in the area. Where might you be, sir? Oh! Oh, wow, he was hiding up there! Wait, did he, was the other one shooting at me or was there somebody else? Oh my God, look at him, he's hiding. What a gamer. Oh man, and I'm getting uncomfy. All right, so yeah, that's Warzone. I would say overall the monitor, goodbye. I think at $200, you're getting a lot of value here compared to the cheaper high refresh rate. You're actually getting a pretty nice looking display. Um, you also have a pretty solid Razer keyboard here. Um, even though it is mechanical, it's not bad. And uh, the G502, it's legendary. On this mouse pad, it all kind of works. So I think these are pretty good, but we have to test this microphone before we wrap this video up real quick because that's gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about about this headset. There you go, McAllister, there's your clap sync. So yeah, we're using this microphone right now on the Stinger and you can hear what it sounds like. Is it good? Is it bad? From what I remember, it was pretty bad, but maybe it's gotten better. I mean, they can't have just been selling the same product for three years, right? Three to four years, or maybe they have. I have no idea how long this product's been existing, but uh, hey, gamer, woo! Chicken nuggies, Jackson, call me for uh, pizza rolls. So that's what it sounds like. All right, let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this full Best Buy setup and as you can see, everything did really well. Obviously the PC was really one of the shining stars because well, we actually got to really pick the parts for that. Everything else here, we kind of just had to go with whatever was the most popular at Best Buy. So, I mean, overall my impressions, I really like the monitor. It could be a little bit cheaper as Matt said. So the mouse mat's super nice. Keyboard, I, you know, for the price, I was surprised. I'm like, okay, it's Razer, you're automatically paying a premium, but I mean, it's not terrible. Headset, well, you guys will see the audio, tell us what you think, but we still think for an extra like 10, 15, 20 bucks, you can go with like a Corsair and you get like the HS50s or 60s. I really personally like those a lot, but hey, the full setup did amazing. And we were playing this AAA titles, no problem. And that is in big part to this awesome PC build that was made possible by our friends over at Deep Cool. Big thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and letting us build in their awesome new case. Check the links down below to learn more. And also, if you wanna buy stuff from Best Buy, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know if there's any other retailer you wanna see the best selling products from and we'll probably make it happen. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And on top of those two YouTube channels and the live streaming platform Twitch, we also have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We got all of the above. Yeah, we have a lot of things, a lot of places, a lot of social media activity. And mm -hmm. yeah, definitely check out that TikTok. We've been posting a lot of short form content that we're probably gonna make one right after this outro. So go to TikTok. All those links will be in the description down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.